All right, so you're thinking about moving, relocating here to Kitsap County, Washington, and you wanna save a little bit of money. Well, I've come up with the seven top hacks for you to save money when moving to Kitsap County, Washington, so stay tuned. Everybody. I'm Ladina Strand. I'm a local real estate agent here in Portage, Washington. If this is your first time to my channel and you want to know everything about Kitsap County, well, I do tons and tons of videos, everything you need to know. So make sure you tap that subscribe button and click the little bell so you're notified every time I do a new video. Now I get lots and lots of phone calls, emails, texts every single day of people looking to relocate here and I absolutely love it. If you're thinking about moving, relocating, make sure you reach out to me, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, or you can even send a Seahawk. However you want to get a hold of me, I've got your back I'm moving to Kitsap County, Washington. So I came up with seven hacks. I've had so many people move, relocate, call me, and I'm finding out new ways I can save you a lot of money, time, energy, and pain when moving to Kitsap County. So I'm gonna jump into these seven hacks. I'm telling you right now, the seventh one, you absolutely must stay till the end to find out because it's the most important. All right, so the number one hack that I gotta go over, and that is the furniture. Should you keep it? So the furniture, you know, obviously is a huge important thing to everyone's life. Some people have an ottoman from their grandmother. Some people have a hide bit from the 80s. It's all good. The one thing I do know is that some furniture that fits in your current home that maybe won't fit in your new house. The one thing I would highly recommend doing is leaving and donating all the furniture that you're not gonna bring with you because it takes up a lot of space and it's bulky. If it won't fit, if you don't need it, get rid of it and get new here. It's gonna save you time, money, and energy. But number two, you gotta get those packing materials. So there's a lot of great options when you're out searching for the utility tools that, that you need to get all of your belongings packed up. Now, the first place I always look is the app called Nextdoor. You can go on there, you can find lots of people that have already moved and they don't want to break down their boxes or they have a ton of boxes that they've already broken down and they're just looking to get rid of them. So a second great option is to check Craigslist. You can also check the liquor store and Costco is another great resource. And if you want to buy that butcher paper, I don't go to the store and buy that regular paper because it's super expensive and I like to save money. So a good tip is to go to my local cash and carry and I buy butcher paper in bulk. Now another place I found that sells this is any construction supply store. This is gonna save you a ton of money because they sell these giant rolls for about 30 bucks. All right, so the third hack, those beautiful appliances, the refrigerators, the ovens, the houses typically have here. So the one thing that I highly recommend is when I put in that accepted offer for you, I can negotiate on your behalf to get all the appliances. Now here in Kitsap County, the washer, dryer, refrigerator can be negotiable, but the stove, fireplace, and a few other utilities and appliances are must stays. So that's the one thing that we should have a conversation about, is one, do you want the appliances that are in the house currently? And two, do you wanna buy some new appliances when you move into your new house? Now the one thing I highly recommend based on my experience is people typically wanna buy new appliances when they buy their new house. And we also have an, have an additional home warranty that can cover all the appliances that are pre-existing and appliances that you're buying. But washers, dryers, and refrigerators, they always come with a manufacturer warranty. So I would just use the standard manufacturer warranty for those things that you buy. And then we can also talk about, um, and you can ask me about the warranties we have here to purchase, and we can see what is the best option for you moving forward. All right, so the number four hack, and this is actually about spending a little bit of money, but it's all about those movers. And again, I can relate. When we have moved throughout the years, we did all the moving ourselves, it was a pain in the butt, you get in a fight with your spouse, it's not worth it. But the last time we moved, we did hire a moving company to move the big stuff for us. And I was actually shocked that it doesn't cost that much to get those movers. You know, we can find some really good movers, we do have a lot of moving companies here. There's companies that can move you from the state you're moving to Kitsap County, or even just local. But the one thing I would recommend, it really depends on whether or not you're comfortable with driving a moving truck, because the most equitable thing is having a company that can come in and pack up all your belongings that you currently own and put it in the truck for you. You know, it costs a couple hundred bucks and it gets done in a very efficient manner and they can get more stuff in the truck because they're professionals. They know how to put the pieces to the puzzle together. And another great option would be getting a pod. You know, you can put all your stuff in your pod, you can head out here and then your stuff's delivered for you once you arrive. Those can actually get stored for a little bit, so they'll show up when you're ready. All right, so we're working our way down this list. 
These are the things that are really going to help you save you know, time and money. But if you're still wanting to know everything about Kitsap County, again, this channel's all about it. So make sure you tap that subscribe button, click the little bell so you're notified every time I do a new video. So the fifth thing I wanna talk about is, okay, okay, you got all your stuff packed up, you got your stuff here, and maybe your house isn't ready, or you wanna take a little bit of time to figure the area out. How about short-term rentals versus long-term rent? Now there are definitely short-term rentals. The great thing that I love and recommend is going to Airbnb. They always have a monthly rental rate. You can find a great rental in a place that you're actually maybe purchasing your house or wanting to live. You know, you can get the whole thing on a monthly basis for around 2,000. If that's too much, you know there's gonna be other options in other cities just depending on your budget and exactly what you're looking for. It's gonna be a great way for you to fill out your area. I don't want you getting into the wrong areas. So Airbnb for a month or two and really get a feel for it. Number six, I'm gonna to touch on this hack and it's the daycare scene. Now some of you have already heard this before but I'm telling you the number one thing if you've got them kiddos, younger ones, you wanna lock in that daycare. It is so difficult. A lot of them are packed up, lots of families, kiddos are all moving here. If you don't plan ahead, you will end up by spending an arm and a leg. And a lot of the comment reach outs I get are about that too. So lock that stuff first and foremost. It's gonna help you, you know, just really find one in your area which saves you money and time, gas and energy. What's also gonna save you money, you'll meet um, some groups, the friends, families, neighbors, who will help you find closer daycares and stuff too. But lock in the daycare. But number seven, the big kahuna you stayed here for to save you the most money, what do you gotta do? You gotta reach out to me and go through the process. It will save you money and my tours will save you by getting in the right area. So the one thing I wanna do is actually want to get on the phone with you on a Zoom call. Now everyone knows what Zoom is now, so I'm super thankful for that. It lets me get to know um, you and exactly what you're here for, moving here to Kitsap County. I wanna want know what your lifestyle is, maybe where you're going to be working at, and exactly what you guys are looking for. Then I put together a beautiful home search, so therefore if you're say three, four, five, six, seven, eight months out, what I can do is I can start sending you houses in that area that fit in your budget so you can see exactly where you're gonna, what you're gonna be looking for. I know exactly how to get you into the house of your dreams. This is a process that I've absolutely mastered. So I really wanna show you these areas and tell you what it's like to live there. I don't want you too far out from what you like and what you wanna do. So that's exactly what I do. I have this process dialed in and I wanna help you. In order to do that, you gotta reach out to me, you gotta give me a call, you gotta shoot me a text, send me an email, or even send the Seahawk. However you wanna get a hold of me, I've got your back, I'm moving to Western Washington. And until that next video, I'll catch you later.